Welcome, welcome. Today we're going to talk furs. They are really popular. Faux furs especially are really popular for this winter and in, even into spring. They go quite a ways in. And the new furs, we've got three different ones. They're light. They're comfortable so they don't have to be coats. They could actually be blouses that we wear underneath, which is kind of what I did with this one. So I'm going to show you our furs. We've got beautiful furs available right now. And unlike the ones in the past, they're not thick. They're just not thick. So that's why I said instead of um, making a coat with them, I used pattern number 650, which is the no gap wrap. Very simple to do. But I'm going to tell you a few things that I considered while I was doing this through the process. Simply because it's a fur, I didn't really want to do a long sleeve. I really wanted to do an open sleeve and these open sleeves are really popular right now. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so let, let's first take a look at the one I have on. We'll first take a look at the very front, because you can see these photos better than you can see me standing here. So we'll take a look at the front, and then we'll take a look at the button up close, because I didn't want to do a buttonhole. I felt like that would be a little difficult. So I decided a button with a wrap would be, a, you know, I just did um, some cording, and then the um, cord stops at the bottom. So that was just a really simple way to do this. We've done the wrap top many times before. I took away the collar because, again, I felt like the collar would be just too bulky and too hard to deal with, too hard to flip. If you look really close at this next picture, you can see where I did leather piping. Just up the front, around the neck, and then back down the other side, just in those little places. In the back, you can see this is light enough that you can actually do some gathering. You can, you know, so you can actually gather and it looks really nice. And then if this last picture, what I did is I did a shirt tail hem because the shirt tail hem is on this pattern. It's already on there. And so I left it. The only thing I did is I cut it six inches longer than the pattern because I wanted it fingertip length. So that's a good length to go by. Just put your fingertips by your side and where they hit is where you can say that's where I want it to be. It looks great with leggings, with boots, with all kinds of stuff. The furs are just so popular. And again, these faux furs especially are just really, really, a lot of people are just having a lot of, a lot of designers are having a lot of fun with them. So on the sleeve, let's go to this because the rest of it is just simple and easy. Just as much as making a blouse, it won't take you a couple hours. Um, and faux fur is very, very pricey as we go to the store. So on the sleeve, you can see that where you're going to stop stitching is right about the elbow because you want to be able to bring your arm forward without constriction. That was my main concern is I wanted to be mobile in it. And I could still wear it. I could still wear a long sleeve shirt with it if I wanted to and have the long sleeve come out. Or I decided I could put a little button right here at the bottom and make it kind of a, a little slit sleeve. But, so if we take a look at this next picture, we can see you're just gonna use a two-piece blouse sleeve. You can use the jean jacket. You can, several of our blouses have two-piece sleeves, 709, several of them do. And so when you use that two-piece sleeve, you can see that I put the red dots. And I put them on all four places. You're just supposed to do it in the front. You're gonna stitch all the way in the back, and then on the front, you're just gonna stitch, and it's right about your elbow. You can make it a little longer just so it covers your elbow, but just to right about the elbow is where you want to stop stitching. I just turned it under, top stitched, and that was it. It was easy. When you're dealing with fur, you just want to make sure that all your pieces are going the same direction. It has got a nap to it, and just pick the way you like. And one thing, if you go back to the back picture, when you first lay it out, especially this one has a stripe. This one doesn't. It's kind of all over. Well, it does. Um, you want to notice that you want to center that down the back of the garment. It's going to look better if it's centered down at the back of the garment. So you want to kind of think about that when you're doing it. But other than that, it is easy, it is fun, and you will have happy sewing.